So when the guys arrived this morning, basically they were given some kit to wear, a pair of boots and some trousers and shirts, and obviously a safety helmet. Then they got some tuition from the big boys, the guys who know exactly what they're doing. Basic manoeuvres in and out the section. Then it seemed to all level out. The guys who have never ridden a trouser bike before, they seem to get better, and the guys who have ridden trouser bike before just seem to get worse. <laughs> then it all happens, because after their lunch break, this is where they arrive, and they actually do the sections like a proper trial, where they're observed. And for those of you who don't know how that works, it's very simple. There's a man with a board and a pen. He watches their every move. If they put their foot down once, twice, or three times, they get one, two, or three marks. If he puts his foot down loads and loads of times, but as long as the bike is moving, it's still three marks. But should they cock the job up completely, fall off, break the tapes, or do something dramatic that involves them stopping in the section, it's five marks. And at the end of the day, it's simple. The bloke who has got the least amount of points is the winner. But I believe they've got trophies for everything. That's the fellow who falls off the best, the fellow who's progressed the most, and maybe the man who looks the most stylish. I don't know. Well, last time we saw the lads, <laughs> they were wobbling a bit, weren't they? But then again, they were trials virgins. But I reckon they've done an awful lot of practice because some of them look absolutely fantastic. You can't come to a major event like this without talking to the man behind it all, really. I mean, people of all walks of life, Dougie, different disciplines, world-class riders of whatever, canoeists, jet skiers and everything, have come to be taught by you. You must be very honoured. Yeah. Impressed. Yeah, it's, we've talked about it for a while, just... Whenever we go and meet them at their various events, so I said, oh yeah, I'd like to have a go at trials, or I have had a go at trials, and I enjoyed it. And we've always said, oh, we'll have a weekend together somewhere, and then all of a sudden things snowballed and it's turned into this. And, and here we are, yeah. It's great, really, because, I mean, they've got world championships at the weekend. Yeah, and the I can't believe half of them are having a go. At and, uh, risky stuff, because you have set them some pretty oh, mean set, stuff. We've set them some good stuff, yeah. I mean, they, they talked a good ride anyway before they started. Did that right? So we, you have to be careful, don't you? You can't just let them have a nice, easy run. <laughs> no, true enough. We've so because well. they went and opened the big gobs and said, oh, I can do that. So you came out, set these sections up, which I must admit, I've looked at a few and thought, no way, Jose. But they all have a go, don't they? Yeah, well, we started off quite steady, just a simple, not well, not very simple, like a few very big accidents, as you saw. <laughs> but, uh, and then we worked our way into the wood. It's a lot more slippery in the wood, but by that time, they've got a bit of throttle control yeah. and clutch control. And but these guys, being what they are, top athletes, brilliant at their own game, whatever it might be, they just seem to take to it like duck to water, don't yeah. they? <laughs> well, thanks very it. much for talking to us, because I know you're busy with all this lot. I think it's great that a motorcyclist, a world champion like you, 10 times, um, has the respect of all these other sportsmen to teach them what to do. Um, and to think I taught you everything you know. Well, I know, when I, <laughs> I, I, as you always say. Often. Everything. Everything I've ever learned has come directly from you. I owe you yeah. some Nothing to do with bikes or No, no, that's like right. That. Yeah. Shh, leave it. <laughs> leave it at that. <laughs>
absolutely. Uh, the, the thing is, you're learning throttle control, you're learning sense of balance, you're learning how quickly things happen, which unfortunately you don't often on a, on a road bike until something goes wrong. And uh, it's a lot softer to land in this terrain than it is to land on the tarmac.